When it comes to handheld gaming, the Steam Deck is a game changer, and in 2024 there are still plenty of reasons why it should be on your radar. I'm Mike, and today we will be exploring why Steam Deck is still a good idea, even in 2024. Despite the rise of new contenders like the ROG Ally and Ioneo devices, the Steam Deck remains the top dog in the world of portable gaming PCs. Sure, you could argue that some of these alternatives might pack better specs or more fancy features, but Valve's little powerhouse continues to prove that numbers on a spec sheet don't tell the whole story. So why should you buy a Steam Deck in 2024? Let me break it down for you. If you are excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. Steam OS – Made for Gaming If you've ever tried running a gaming PC on Windows, you know the drill. Endless updates, patches, and a UI that's not exactly friendly when scaled down to a small touchscreen. Now imagine taking that experience on the go. Sounds like a hassle, right? That's why Valve's Steam OS is a massive win for the Steam Deck. Unlike Windows, Steam OS is designed from the ground up for gaming, and it shows. It's streamlined, intuitive, and makes your handheld feel like a gaming console rather than a miniaturized PC. One of the best things about Steam OS is that it just works. The interface is built to handle the deck's touch controls and inputs, and it's all beautifully optimized for the device. You won't be digging through endless menus or settings to get your game up and running. Plus, SteamOS has a feature that no other handheld can match the deck verified program. With this, Valve has put in the effort to tell you exactly how well a game will run on the Steam Deck, giving titles one of four labels – verified, playable, unsupported, or unknown. This saves you from playing the guessing game or wasting time fiddling with settings to make your favorite games run. Deck Verified Program – Certainty and Performance The Deck Verified Program is like having a cheat sheet for gaming on the go. Unlike other handhelds where you may need to tweak settings or experiment to get a game running smoothly, the Steam Deck tells you straight up what to expect. Verified games are optimized for the deck and will run flawlessly, while playable games might need a bit of adjustment but will still provide a solid experience. The best part? The catalog of deck verified games keeps growing, meaning more of your library will run seamlessly on the device. Competitors like the ROG Ally or Ioneo don't have anything like this, leaving players to figure it out on their own. That's a lot of time spent experimenting instead of gaming. With the Steam Deck, you know what you're getting before you even press Install. The Price – A Wallet-Friendly Powerhouse Let's be real, one of the biggest selling points of the Steam Deck is its price. Starting at just $439 for the 64GB model, it's incredibly affordable compared to its competition. Sure, the ROG Ally might have more powerful specs, but it'll set you back at least $600. For that extra $200, you're getting more storage and power, but you're also dealing with Windows, which, let's face it, isn't built for handheld gaming. Even if you go for the OLED version of the Steam Deck, which comes with either 512 GB or 1 TB of storage, you're still looking at prices below some of the other alternatives. And let's not forget that storage is easily expandable on the deck. Slap in a micro SD card, and you're good to go without shelling out for the more expensive models. It's the perfect solution for gamers on a budget who want a premium handheld experience without having to make compromises. Superior Build Quality – Designed to Last The Steam Deck may be a bit bulkier than some of its competitors, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Valve used that extra size to create a handheld that feels sturdy and balanced in your hands. The weight distribution is spot on, and the controls are ergonomically placed, making it comfortable to hold during long gaming sessions. The buttons and joysticks feel solid, and everything is built with durability in mind. Beyond that, Valve has excellent customer service. If you run into any issues with your deck, Valve's been known to either replace or repair units without too much fuss. Compare that to the newer players in the market, like Ioneo, where hardware issues can be a real headache to resolve, and it becomes clear why Valve's attention to quality and customer support is a big plus. The Steam Deck Community – A Wealth of Resources If there's one thing the Steam Deck has that no other handheld can claim, it's a massive, dedicated community. Head over to the Steam Deck subreddit and you'll find over 500,000 members ready to help you out with tips, tricks, and customizations. 
Whether you're looking to mod your Steam Deck, troubleshoot a performance issue, or just chat about your latest favorite game, the community is always active and welcoming. On top of that, there's an ever-growing ecosystem of tools and utilities created by developers who are just as passionate about the deck. Programs like EmuDeck allow you to emulate a vast library of classic games, while Chiaki lets you remote play from your PS5. These open-source tools, often developed by the community, make the Steam Deck a far more versatile device than just about any other handheld on the market. The OLED Upgrade – Worth Every Penny If you're considering getting a Steam Deck in 2024, the OLED version is the way to go. While the standard LCD model still holds up well, the OLED version takes the Steam Deck experience to the next level. The 7.4-inch OLED screen delivers richer colors, perfect black levels, and even supports HDR for games that allow it. Trust me, once you've played a game like Death Stranding, Director's Cut on the OLED screen, there's no going back. It looks stunning, even when compared to more expensive OLED TV or gaming monitors, and the improvements don't stop at the screen. The OLED model is lighter, has improved thumbsticks for better grip, and offers enhanced back buttons that are less prone to accidental presses. Valve even threw in a bigger battery and upgraded the Wi-Fi chip to Wi-Fi 6E, making cloud gaming on services like GeForce Now smoother than ever. The jump from 60Hz to 90Hz might not seem like much on paper, but the difference is noticeable in games that can take advantage of the higher refresh rate. If you're serious about handheld gaming, the OLED Steam Deck is a no-brainer. Steam OS vs. Windows – No Contest One of the biggest advantages the Steam Deck has over its competitors is Steam OS. While handhelds like the ROG Ally or Legion Go run Windows, it's not an ideal experience. Windows just isn't designed for handheld gaming. You'll spend more time tinkering with settings, closing annoying pop-ups, or battling driver issues than you will actually playing games. In contrast, Steam OS is lean, fast, and tailored specifically for gaming on the Steam Deck. Thanks to Valve's Proton software, which makes it possible to run Windows games on Linux, you can enjoy a vast library of titles without ever touching Windows. You get all the benefits of a gaming console quick boot times, a snappy interface, and minimal setup without losing the flexibility of a PC. Need to do some real PC stuff? SteamOS has a desktop mode that lets you use the deck as a full-fledged computer. The best part? You can switch between gaming mode and desktop mode at the press of a button, making the deck both a gaming powerhouse and a portable Linux PC. Indie Heaven and AAA Thrills The Steam Deck might be a beast for indie games, but don't let that fool you. It can handle AAA titles too. Sure, you might not be running Cyberpunk 2077 at max settings, but with some tweaking you can play games like Elden Ring, Ghost of Tsushima, and Hogwarts Legacy without much hassle. Even Starfield is playable on the Steam Deck, albeit with reduced settings. But where the deck really shines is with indie games. Titles like Vampire Survivors, Dead Cells, Hades, and Dave the Diver play perfectly on the device, and thanks to its form factor, it's the ideal way to knock out that indie backlog you've been sitting on for years. Plus, with its ability to stream games via GeForce Now or from your home PC, the deck can even handle graphically intensive games without breaking a sweat. The Future of the Steam Deck Valve has already proven its commitment to improving the Steam Deck through consistent software updates. SteamOS gets regular patches that improve performance, fix bugs, and add new features. Plus, Valve has been pretty transparent about the possibility of a Steam Deck 2 down the line. But even if a sequel is coming, the current Steam Deck OLED is more than capable of meeting your gaming needs in 2024 and beyond. Given Valve's track record and the growing ecosystem around the Steam Deck, it's safe to say that this handheld isn't going anywhere. Even if you buy one today, you can expect years of support, new games optimized for the platform, and a thriving community that will keep making the deck better through mods, customizations, and open source tools. Conclusion Is the Steam Deck worth it in 2024? In a word, absolutely. The Steam Deck has changed the way people think about portable gaming. It's not just a novelty or a gimmick, it's a legitimate handheld gaming PC that offers a seamless, console-like experience without the headaches of Windows. 
From its excellent build quality and robust community support to the superior experience of Steam OS and the stunning OLED screen, the Steam Deck is a must-buy for gamers in 2024. Whether you're looking to dive into your backlog of indie games, tackle the latest AAA titles, or explore the world of Linux tinkering, the Steam Deck has something for everyone. And with Valve's continued commitment to improving the platform, the future looks bright for handheld gaming. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.